This fall, you'll start going through your ballot and see rent control. Sound familiar? There's my colleague, Matt, talking about the same proposal back in 2018. 59% of Californians voted against it. So I'm sure you're wondering what's new this time. I'll explain. Hi, I'm Jackie Botts, and I cover economic inequality for Cal Matters. I'll explain Prop 21 in under a minute. California renters typically pay 70% more than renters in other states. It's one of the big reasons nearly 150,000 Californians are unhoused. Last year, California lawmakers passed a state law capping yearly rent increases at around 8% for most housing. Some people think the state law doesn't go far enough, which brings us to Prop 21. Some cities have their own rent control laws, but their power is limited. For example, cities can't enact rent control laws for single-family homes. But Prop 21 would allow cities to enact stricter rent control for almost all rental housing, as long as it's more than 15 years old. Supporters say this will prevent more homelessness and gentrification. Opponents say stricter local rent control will make it unprofitable for landlords to build more housing, which we so desperately need. Plus, California voters already nixed this idea in 2018. On the other hand, the pandemic's financial shock could make people more eager to protect renters. Vote yes on Prop 21 if you want your city to be able to expand rent control. Vote no on Prop 21 if you don't. For more information on Prop 21 and everything on the November ballot, visit calmatters.org.